You're right. It's not May 1st. <laughs> back to JT West guys thank you uh, made that introduction because uh, I knew I was going to probably have to eat a little bit of crow because I've been I've been screaming May 1st May 1st May 1st and I did uh, if you look back at some of my videos a couple two or three weeks ago you'll see that I start started backing up on that a little bit uh, you know because I could tell it looked like it might be an early spring but I'm gonna go ahead and plant some silk queen corn today guys and it's middle of April and uh you, you know I, I maybe i should say that my goal is may 1st depending on the weather that's probably what i should start saying i'm gonna plant it the the peaches still got pe i got peaches on my peach tree they didn't get frosted out uh my pecan trees leafing out and so i did look at the two week stretch from here on out and there's one day next week tuesday which, uh, you know, this corn could be coming up by then, but it's getting down to 41 that night, and I feel like we'd be okay at, even at 41, and then it's going right back up. And so let's say I do wait to May 1st and plant. Well, this allows us to get a, a night or two in early May that may get down to 41. So even if I wait it to May and it got down to 41, I could, well, I could just plant today. So that's my thinking. Could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, we're going to do a video soon on putting these rolling cultivators under the Super 8, but before that, I had an idea about my planters. As you guys know that follow the channel, y'all forgive me for not knowing, 174 or 184 planters is what I have. This planter is set up where it's got a little bit of depth control on it. I don't ever have to worry about how deep it goes. I let this thing just ride on top of the ridge there and it's not gonna go too deep, it's just gonna be fine. And that's what we're gonna use today. But what I did do, this planter is set up with a big cog on the back, little cog here. So obviously it's turning this thing pretty fast. So it's what I call fast speed. This planter is set up, now I'm toying with this. I, I won't have one set up, I want to have one set up slow speed and one fast speed. And you say, why do you do that? Cause I, cause of the corn disc that I have. The disc that I have for that one, uh, it's in the hopper here. The one I have that we're going to use today for the Silver Queen is this this one here. I think it's two, four, six, eight. It's eight sail, and I spin it fast to get the you know the distance I want on it. Now, the the ones I have for my corn. Here's a 24 cell nice corn plate. Now, I've never used a 24 cell, but we may use it on some of the Hastings and Jimmy Red by using this planter, which is turning slow, and the wheel itself is a little bit slower, is a little bit smaller than the wheel on that planter. So it's actually going to be extra slow. And this may put the distance exactly what I wanted. I want to do about, I don't know, eight inches or so on the Hastings and the Jimmy Red this year. I have a 16 cell in here now, so it's just like this plate, but it's 16 of these cells. And I'm not sure if that's gonna be the, the right speed or if I had to step up to a 24 cell, but we'll figure that out in the next video because we're all about some Silver Queen today. We're gonna uh, go over in a minute and we're gonna plant it. I'm gonna plant the long rows in Silver Queen and I'm gonna have about four or five short rolls that we are gonna wait probably till the first or second week of May to plant in some um, peaches and cream. Lino wants me to plant some peaches and cream, but I wanna put them far enough apart. Not that I'm really worried about them cross pollinating, but we'll put them far enough apart that we can have corn at two different times and not have to feel so rushed to get it all in at one time. But we'll plant that in a few weeks. Now to make a great video too, because that that's a little different corn, and, and it'll be all right. Um, let's see, anything else I wanted to say? Any house cleaning items? Oh, house cleaning item. We'll put a little. Let's see, how am I standing here? We'll put it. We'll put a little link right here. New hats, guys. 
It's maybe not IH red, and maybe they had this already and I just didn't know it, but but Will, my son Will, got got uh, Allison to send this to us. And uh, don't say this enough, guys. I do sell, you know, if you wear hats and you think you might want to buy a new hat to wear, consider getting a JT West hat. It's, it, it's not like it's, uh, I'm trying to make, you know, break into some big giant merchandise market. I'll be honest with you. I just, I, it tickles me to death to see Allison and Nikki uh, create a business of their own, you know, doing this. And so uh, it actually tickles me more if you guys bought one for those, for Allison and Nikki, than it would be for the channel. But hey, it's a nice hat. Get one if you're thinking about it. We'll put that link right there. Let's get this planter off and uh, try not to overstrain ourselves getting it off and get that planter on. <laughs> trick is is get it to the edge <laughs> without coming out too far <laughs> that's the trick once you got that hopper on I can't go backwards anymore so let's do this let's set the hopper off so we can go backwards This is the hopper last year, guys, that, that I rebuilt with a new one of these and a new base from Duff, Duffville Equipment, which I always have a link on my page for Duffville Equipment. We'll set this thing right here. Lean it up against there. That's the cool thing about that planter, is it will lean up against the sword there. And like I said, guys, you you chime in if, if y'all know 184 planters, 174, I'm not sure. I've never seen a tag on them. We greased them up the other day. They're quite heavy, <laughs> to be honest with you. There's only one, only one grease spot on that wheel. Y'all want to guess which spot I picked up on that wheel? <laughs> Let's just go and get it all the way off then. <laughs> You know, now that I'm doing this, it's a good time to bring up this. Come here, Sammy. Guys, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Y'all tell me. I don't know how many washing machine... It, <clears throat> excuse me. Washing machine experts we have in the house today, but... All my oil rags I've been saving. Grease rags, oil rags. Because, you know, I bought this pack of cotton terry towels it wasn't too bad it's like 30 bucks for 100 of them or something like that but i just hated throwing them away it seemed like such a waste it's 100 percent cotton so i've been keeping them out there by the post because you know how rags are if you ain't got a metal container you know may, they may catch on fire but uh i put it in a five gallon bucket and i poured a bunch of purple power in there and sloshed them around poured that out purple power again I think I did that like three times and got the initial grease and grime off. Still had grease and grime on them, but it wasn't like it was. And then I put them in my washing machine and I washed them with some Tide and a little bit of Purple Power and just a squirt of Dawn dishwashing liquid and washed them, I think, three times. And then the last time I added just a pinch of Clorox in it because Clorox seems to kill any smell and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, they did pretty good. You know, they're not perfectly clean white again like they were, but, I mean, they're clean and they smell fine. They don't really smell like oil. And uh, the Purple Power was $6, and I did 30 rags, so $6, 30 rags. I guess my question is, 
bore y'all to death about rags and we're supposed to be planting corn. Uh, the question is, am I doing anything bad to the washer? It's a speed queen, so, you know, she's pretty heavy duty washer. She seems to be able to handle it. But let me know what you think on that. So the hopper we're going to use here, this hopper goes with this planter. I'm not going to swear that I won't use this hopper uh, planting the Jimmy Red on the other planter. It doesn't matter at this point from here down. It doesn't matter what I got these gears. This is going to be all the same. Um, I may end up using this on the other planter and not the other hopper. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But we just lock her in. And I won't put no seed in it till I get to the field because that tail wheel will drag a little bit. And if y'all look, let me get right here. This rod here is bent back. It's supposed to go straight that way right here. And it's bent back. And what bends it back is having that center link on here when you're plowing it. If you notice this planter has a kind of a level look to it, you, you're not supposed to have that center link on it when you're plowing with this, planting with this uh, planter here. And that's what bends that back because it raises up and it hits this arm right here because it puts it in an angle like that and it bends that. That planter over there is bent. The other one um, hopefully won't blend that. Now, here's the other thing. I'll wait. You know how I am, guys, about down pressure. We'll wait we get to the field to see if I want to add any down pressure or not we may I'll leave it loose right now I may put some on it I'm not going to plant this with my back feet I'll just say this with this planter here I won't use the back feet because I'm not worried about it going too deep it's just not going to go too deep you ain't going to do it but now when I plant with the other planter in the next couple days Lord willing I probably will run back feet on this thing to keep that planter from going too deep in the ground because those back feet will hold, it'll hold this draw bar up off the ground a little bit. And so, because that planter doesn't have no, nothing to keep that sword from just bellying out. So we'll probably do that. Um, but let's get over here. Let's plant a little bit and start our sweet corn. All right, guys, I got Sammy done poured one bag in. I'm glad I didn't have to do nothing to the uh, plate on the planter. But so we got the Silver Queen in here. This bag says 2022. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm getting uh, lost on how old some of my corn is. That's going to be more corn than we need for this. So we'll put it back in a bag. Um, I know keeping corn years probably probably lower, lowers the germination a little bit uh you know takes it from you know the high 90s to low 90s maybe i don't know but you know i've i've always used older seed i rarely hardly ever use same year seed i did buy some silver queen <laughs> man <laughs> good i did buy some silver queen this year that uh Man, I lost my train of thought. I sneezed it out. What is your problem, boy? I will reach across that you messed it up, man. camera and... Man. Oh my days. All right. <laughs> I did buy some Silver Queen this year, and uh, it's in the freezer. Yeah, I won't plant it probably for two years. But anyway, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have six long rolls, and this piece of a row here, it's about half which will leave us one, two, three, four, five, six short rolls, but we're going to use two of them, something for Lino. We're probably going to do tomatoes in one and okra in the other. Uh, and then that way frees us up for some sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes and green beans, I got to have in the electric fence, and we're going to put the electric fence over there. The tomatoes, praise the Lord, they don't really bother them here. 
like to do everything else. So we'll do that over there in the other garden. But we'll plant the silver queen today. As you can see, you know, I got some green on it. But the cool thing is when I go through with that blade and I knock that thing down, uh, when I say green, it's some of that uh, ryegrass seed I think I put on it last year. It'll knock it down and everything will get a fresh start today. Even the weeds, the weeds will get their fresh start today. The corn will get their fresh start today. So it'll all be equal. So we'll have to get this done and we'll put up a fence around it and we'll show you doing that later. Oh, this is not a paid promotion or anything like that. I really, really, really like this product. Been using it for about three or four years now. I got some tablets. They have some forestry tablets. They have uh, some gardening tablets that you can buy, some daily planners, weekly planners, monthly planners. It's a company, and I'm pretty sure they're in the United States here. Let's put our glasses on for this. Right in the rain. And this is just a little notepad. And I, you know, I write notes at work on it and stuff. And I, I've run through two or three of these. That's just pocket dust. But these pieces of paper are nice and thick, good quality. And you literally, literally can get them wet. Matter of fact, we're going to walk down the pond and I'm going to show you one. I ain't getting nothing from this. I just believe in this thing that much. Right in the rain, it's just the coolest thing. Here's their web address, rightintherain.com. They have all kinds of little planners and, you know, stuff. And uh, I just really have enjoyed it. And I, I'm pretty sure it's all USA made stuff. I didn't research it that far. Let's see here what it says on the back. Look at there. Made in the USA, patent pending. So let's go down here. I was going to show y'all. So you can take this piece of paper and put it under that water and bring it back up. Look at that. It just beat it off of it. Rip it you, could rip, you could literally take that piece of paper and keep listening at it. It's still crisp. All right. That's my little soapbox today. We're going to get to planting corn. We done got off two or three times. We got a live stream tonight. I hope you guys enjoy the live streams. And uh, let's plant.
All right, guys. Throughout the whole video, uh, we've talked about a bunch of things, but guess what? We've got us uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half beautiful rolls of Silver Queen Planet. Um, I didn't, I didn't bring what I was going to bring. We'll do it on the Hastings. We'll measure, we'll measure those beds and see exactly how tall they're left standing. They're not that tall at all. Trust me. Uh, but it did give me the footing that I wanted on my planter, like always. And also what it does, you may have noticed this, if I ran into a spot that the, uh, the bed wasn't that big, I eased up on the blade and I let the planter cut the top of that bed off so it still had plenty of dirt up under that planter. So that was pretty good too. I may or may not run the feet on that Hastings. We may go feetless on it. I, I don't think I could... The way the lift is right now, I don't think I can get it too deep. I think I can control the depth of the planter, believe it or not, with the scrape blade. How much I knock off versus how much I don't knock off, which is going to work out fine. I really, looking back, I really need to get this six sail right here, eight sail planter. It only will accept the smaller seeds. And it's it's missing. I noticed I dropped it. I dropped the tail end of it when I come out of that short roll on the grass and run it all the way to here with it running. And yeah, I had some it's boom, 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 and then we had a boom and then another couple. So it's some of the seeds, and I was looking through the bag here what was left. This is what's left out of it. These are all pretty good big round seeds. So it, it, the thing about Silver Queen is, and it not being uniform in seed, if I go with too big of a plate, I'm, I'm subject to have two corn plants in one hole. And then I'm subject not to get the big ones and miss a hole. So it's kind of a one of those deals. It's like, what do you do? So we may, uh, this, uh, other corn I'm going to plant, the peaches and creams, are pretty. it seemed to be a pretty big seed. I haven't studied it that hard. I'll compare it against the uh, Silver Queen. If it is, we're going to use the other planter with the 16 cell plate in it. We'll use it and uh, we'll take and see what it does with that. It's just four rolls. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I got to go get ready for a live. Probably going to wear this. I may be a little dirty but that's okay. <laughs> um, so we got to get ready for a live. Will's here. Will filmed a little bit of this video. Sammy started off. Ellie's here. Looks like everybody's here. So we got to go eat dinner, get ready for the live, and we will see y'all again. God bless you. God loves you. We'll see you.